What's up guys, Average Sniper here, just playing a little bit of uh, Battlefield 1, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about which platform is best to play Battlefield 1 on, and I have all three. I have uh, Xbox One, I have uh, PC, and most recently I have a PS4 Pro, and I just want to kind of talk to you guys while I play just for something to talk about, not trying to start like a console war or anything, about my personal experiences and my opinions on these different platforms and which one I think is the best for uh, Battlefield 1. So right now I'm actually playing on PC, so I mean why don't we, uh, why don't we start with that. So originally I was a uh, Xbox player, I first played Battlefield on Xbox, but then I later on built my own gaming PC and just had a lot of fun with that and I think the main thing about PC that I like holy shit there's a lot of dudes up here the main thing about PC that I like is is the graphics obviously um, you can put awesome graphic cards in and you can set them to high resolutions you can put them on ultra settings you can have a hundred plus frames per second if you have a good enough graphics card and if you're a sniper you can use the um, well I mean you're gonna use a keyboard and mouse anyway but if you're a sniper that's even better because you can be so accurate with the mouse especially when you're using a scope you know it's 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 just great I spawned right on to capturing the objective. That's awesome. Are we winning? No, we are. We are losing. We need to get it together, team. Um, but there are some downsides to playing on PC. The first one that comes to mind um, are the cheaters. So you have a lot of people that download cheats and hacks, and uh, it just kind of ruins the gameplay. You don't see this as much on console because console is way more controlled. But when you have a computer with Windows as the operating system, you know, there's a whole bunch of software applications you can download uh, to basically cheat. And that that sucks. That sucks ass. But it's just, you know, comes with the territory of PC pretty much. Every PC game I've played so far, I've seen cheaters in. I don't see them all the time in Battlefield 1, but I definitely do see them. They're not... <laughs> they're not uncommon is what I say. They're not rare. They, they happen. Cheaters happen. Look at all these fucking snipers, man. Oh, see, I couldn't even poke my head out right there. Damn, they're just laying up there. I need to get a, I need to get a gun with a scope if I'm going to do that. We'll try again. Um, so, yeah, I guess the pros about PC are, are great graphics, keyboard and mouse. Um, and we're just talking about Battlefield 1. I'm not talking about other games right now. I'm just talking about Battlefield 1. Um, the cheaters are the downside. I can't really think of any other... Oh, wait, I do know another downside to PC. It's um, it's the lack of players. So my opinion on this is I think the reason PC has less players than console, um, two reasons for this. Let me spawn in here. In my opinion, this is just my opinion. I haven't looked up any facts or anything like that. Just giving you my opinion based on my experience. So um, first off, I think um, there's more console players because consoles are basically... Wow, that's four kills right there. Consoles are basically a lot cheaper than uh, buying a PC. You can buy a gaming PC without spending a lot of money, but you're not going to get that good performance out of it. So I think most people that play PCs um, are going to want to beef up their PC. So consoles would be the much cheaper option to get a really quality gameplay, good graphics, and you know not have to spend $1,000 or more doing it. Uh, the second reason I think there's not that many people on PC is because PC has a lot more variety. There's a lot more games out there you can download. I mean, you have Steam and Origin with all kinds of games. You have all kinds of deals for, you know, EA uh, Origin access. And, you know, there's just a shit, shit ton of games. I think there's more games on PC than console. And uh, it's pretty much always been that way. I mean, maybe, maybe it's changed as of uh, late, but... Pretty sure PC has more options. So when you're uh, playing on console, you, you tend to stick more to the game that you're playing. Uh, when you're on PC, you just have more options, basically. Oh, he got me. I was trying to, like, talk and make sense there, but I was just, these guys are running up on me. Man, crazy. Um, I, I should spawn back here so I can concentrate more. So, so that's what I think is great about PC. Basically, the graphics and the keyboard and mouse, you know, and that's pretty much it. The rest is kind of downside. You know, cheaters, you know, less people on PC. And, uh, you know, that's about it. But, but there's, there, you know, it's just, I, I personally prefer PC just because of the amazing graphics. I like being able to see people far away. Well, let's move on to the next one, which is uh, Xbox One. Now, I started gaming with an Xbox 360 uh, when Xbox 360 first came out. And it was so awesome for me. That was, that was all I played. That was all I cared about playing is my Xbox 360. 
I didn't even care if there was anything else out there. I was just all about the Xbox 360 for me. And it stayed that way for a long time. Um, I started playing Gears of War, I started playing Call of Duty, and then I started playing Battlefield when I got my Xbox One. And uh, that was just an amazing experience. I actually started out with Battlefield Hardline. There was... Oh shit, this guy got behind me. Oh, he got me. Where did he come from? There was not... Uh, there's not, like... A lot of bugs with the Xbox One when Battlefield Hardline was out, but in Battlefield One and with Battlefield Four, there was like no bugs except for like the release date. Um, Battlefield One came out, there were so many bugs on Xbox One. It was for me, it was almost unplayable. There was the bug where when you start, when you finish the match, you know it doesn't finish. The scoreboard doesn't show up. The uh, the final highlights don't show up. There was just like a million things that didn't work right about it. And it kind of started to turn me off of the console gameplay. Of course, at that point, I already had my gaming PC, you know, so I wasn't too worried about it because anytime I got too pissed off at the Xbox One, I would just switch over to PC, you know, and it, would, it was all good. Oh, shit. They're everywhere. Where, what did I do? Why did I run over here? Oh, I have teammates over here. Grenade out. Oh, shit. Oh. No, no. You leave my guy alone. Leave him alone. That's the problem with live comms. People run up and interrupt me when I'm talking. Okay, so... Oh, shit. That's a fucking flame trooper! Why isn't he turning around? Oh, my God! <laughs> what is he doing? I totally forgot what I was talking about because of that right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Xbox One. So there were so many bugs when Battlefield 1 first came out, but they got smoothed out. My only problem with Xbox One now playing Battlefield 1 is the game just doesn't seem very optimized. You know, it's it's slow on the menus. Sometimes when you look at the scoreboard, it takes forever. And they, they have optimized a lot of it, but for the most part, it's still a pretty crappy experience when I'm playing Battlefield 1 on Xbox One. And I've heard it it's the same for PS4, but we'll, we'll, we'll get into that later. Oh, oh, you cheeky bastard. <laughs> um, look at this. What are you doing up there? Yeah, you better jump down. Overall, I'd say my experience with Battlefield 1 on Xbox One was neutral because most of the bugs got fixed. But the graphics are something that I wasn't very happy with. Um, and maybe that's just because I got spoiled with PC. But I was I thought the graphics for Battlefield 1 on Xbox One were seriously lacking. I was honestly disappointed with them. And I'm not I'm not trying to diss Xbox One at all. I'm just giving you my opinion. I still has have my Xbox One. I still play it all the time. We still stream on it all the time. We have lots of good times with it. But that doesn't change the fact that I think the graphics kinda suck. <laughs> But, there's not a lot of cheat. Oh my god, these guys are just getting destroyed here. I'm so glad I can have a live com where I can talk to you guys and kill people at the same time. Okay, so, lost my train of thought again with all those people running up. Um, graphics on Xbox One I wasn't happy with for Battlefield 1. The game doesn't seem that optimized. But the pros are that it's console. You know, there's not a lot of configuration you have to do. It is the way it is. And uh, it's just easy. So, oh shit. Oh, I gotta get this guy. Oh yeah, you knew I was gonna get you. You panicked. He was panicking. <laughs> I think Battlefield 1 plays fine on Xbox One, but I still think it, it has a long way to go as far as the optimization process. But we do have the Xbox One X coming out. So I would say, first off, I like PC, and then second, I like Xbox One. But that might change in a second after I tell you my experience with the PS4 Pro. Now, a lot of you guys that watch my channel regularly, you might know that I had a very good donation from a guy named Paul S. Uh, for a PS4 Pro. We were talking about starting a donation page so I could get a PS4 and play with my PS4 buddies. And all of a sudden, he just comes in like a boss and donates $400 so I can go out and buy a PS4 Pro. So, obviously, I did. I went out and bought the PS4 Pro, and I've been doing a lot of streams on it and uh, playing on it, and I have to say, the experience I had on the PS4 Pro with Battlefield 1 versus Battlefield 1 on the Xbox One was totally different. Everything was much smoother, and you guys are going to hate me for this, but the graphics were better. Well, obviously, the graphics were better because the PS4 Pro supports gaming in 4K, even though I'm only gaming in 1080. And the 4K is probably just a kind of a stretched thing and not a real true 4K. The graphics were much better running in 1080 um, on the PS4 Pro. 
Where is this guy? Is he invisible? He's right above me. Oh my god, that was a panic shot. That was a professional panic shot right there. I did. I have not found any bugs on the PS4 Pro playing Battlefield 1. Now having said that, I have not played Battlefield 1 on the regular PS4 at all. Um, my only experience with Battlefield 1 is PC, Xbox One, and PS4 Pro. I do hear that Battlefield 1 basically runs the same on PS4 as it does on Xbox One. It still needs some optimization, and it seems like the game is basically taking up the full processing power of the console, which you never want because then you have slowness, you have lockups, you have to restart the game. Um, it basically just runs, you know, shitty when it's using, you know, the full potential of the console, and there's no wiggle room for any extra processor power or RAM. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but you do, trust me, you don't want that. Holy God, look at all these guys coming in here. How did that grenade not blow anybody up? I don't know. Okay. Look at them all back here. Look at them all back here. Oh, hit marker. Okay. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to do a bayonet charge. Oh, he just got revived. He just got, <laughs> he just got revived to hit my bayonet. <laughs> so I'm going to rank it like this, guys. My favorite uh, from top to bottom, considering that I play all the consoles except the original PS4. Uh, PC I rate number one for myself because I just can't get over the good graphics and I love using the keyboard and mouse uh, for my shooter games. I just feel like I can be so much more accurate. Second, I like the PS4 Pro. I know I'm changing it from when I just said the Xbox One, but that's just because I hadn't talked about the PS4 Pro yet. So, secondly, I like... Holy God. Secondly, I like the... Oh my God! <laughs> Where are they coming from? Why are they coming back there? Secondly, I, um, okay, so first PC, second PS4 Pro, and third Xbox One. And I'm not trying to rank Xbox One last, you know, because I don't like it or anything. I'm just going by my experience. I still love playing on Xbox One. In fact, I'm planning on doing an Xbox One stream uh, later today if you're watching this video when it came out. So make sure you check that out. I mean... Like I said, I'm not trying to start a console war or anything crazy like that. I'm, I'm just telling you guys from my personal experience. And I would like to hear your guy, you guys' comments and opinions on this. Because honestly, it's that's why I make these videos. you know. So for entertainment purposes and so I can read all the comments you guys post. How did I miss that guy? Whoa. Getting destroyed over here. I love reading the comments. I love it when my videos get likes. I, I just... I love all that stuff, man. So I wish you guys, um, I hope you guys comment a lot on this video and let me know your opinion because that's really what I want. Now that I'm done talking about the main thing, I can just kind of jibber jabber until this game is over. <laughs> so I'm almost rank 100 on PC. Now there was 110 ranks, but getting to rank 100 takes forever. And once you get to rank 100, one, getting to rank 110 is a lot easier. I'm gonna try and jump up on this train. There's a guy right. Oh, yeah, I got him in the head. There was a guy right over there. Oh. Oh, look. We're almost got some kind of little flank going here. There's a guy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They see me. Where is he shooting from? Oh, there he is. There he is. It's getting kind of, kind of crazy. We're all going to get blown up by one grenade. All right, I'll watch you guys' back while I talk. So I'm almost rank 100 on PC. I really want to get there. And then I might go for rank 100 on PS4 Pro as well. I think that's going to be awesome. I'm really enjoying playing it. Now, some extra tidbits I wanted to throw in here. Um, I didn't mention anything about the controllers when I was talking. Um, that's because the, I feel like the controllers on Xbox One and PS4 are basically the same with minor differences. I mean, if you know how to use an Xbox One or a PS4 controller, you can easily go vice versa. It was real easy for me to adjust to the PS4 controller, and I actually found that I like the PS4 controller a little better than the Xbox One controller. Um, oh god, there's another guy back here too. Where is he? Oh, he didn't revive. Cool. I don't know why I like the PS4 controller better. I feel like it just fits better in my hands. You know, it's not as bulky as the Xbox One controller, I think. And that is a big thing for me. It was real... There's a guy out there? It was real easy for me to just kind of get used to and get into the flow of. Now, I have owned a PS4 previous to the PS4 Pro, but that wasn't when I was playing Battlefield. That's when I was a, a Call of Duty noob. <laughs> I, was, I was playing Advanced Warfare on the PS4, and that's when I learned that I really liked the PS4 controller. Um, PS4 Pro controller is, like, identical, as far as I know. I mean, oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? Maybe there's minor differences. I don't know. 
I need a flare. That's what I need. There he is. There he is. Oh, I'm dead. I mean, comparing Xbox One and PS4 controllers is, is kind of pointless, I guess. Um, I prefer the keyboard and mouse, but when I play Xbox One and PS4, I do use um, a controller. And the aim assist is pretty strong. I made a video about that. One thing I don't like about Battlefield 1 is they take aim assist away from the... Stop moving, dude! I'm still gonna shoot you. Oh, now there's somebody behind me. Did he shoot at me and then shoot, a, then look away, or is that somebody else? Oh shit! I'm reloading. Woo! Okay, I completely lost track of what I said. Oh yeah, the the aim assist on Battlefield One for console is kind of fucked up because they give all the guns aim assist except for the sniper rifles that have scopes. So if you're using a controller and you want to play aggressive, regardless of what console it's on, Xbox One, PS4, PS4 Pro. Um, you're not going to have aim assist on, on that scope sniper rifle four times and above. And that's fine. I mean, I can play just fine without aim assist. But the problem is you're going up against guys that do have aim assist. So you're kind of putting yourself at a disadvantage, you know. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like to play with a handicap. It's not fun for me. I like to play with, you know, my full potential totally unlocked. So I definitely leave that aim assist on when I play on console. And I try to use, you know, infantry or carbine variants because that's pretty much what everybody uses, you know. Not just because it has aim assist, but because using a gun that doesn't have aim assist and trying to play aggressive uh, just sucks. I think that's kind of DICE's way of telling snipers with scopes they need to sit back away from the objective. Which makes sense, because that's a more realistic way to play, but then you get too many people doing that, nobody plays the objective, and, you know, that's what happens. I know I'm just kind of rambling, but that's all I have to do, because I've already talked about which which console, I, which platform I like the best. Holy God, how many of them are in there? Double grenade. Yeah, anyway, I hope you guys don't totally hate me, because I gave you my opinion on, on the consoles, though. You probably do. You're like, fuck this guy. He likes PC over uh, console and all that. Oh, what? Why did I ban that charge? I don't know. So yeah, sorry for all the crazy rambling, guys. I'm not very good at talking live while I play. I lose track of myself and everything. So maybe since the game is going on, I'll just recap a bit. PC for the awesome graphics. Downsides the hackers. Um, PS4 Pro second for the really good graphics and uh, the smooth gameplay. And Xbox One last because it just needs to be optimized more for Battlefield One, and hopefully the Xbox One X will be will be a lot better. Yeah, gotcha. Um, I can't wait to try the Xbox One X. I don't know if I'm gonna get one as soon as it comes out, but I just hope it's a lot more optimized than uh, than the Xbox One. <laughs> All right, who do we got in here? Nobody's in here, but there's gonna be people in here. Oh, he's got a shotgun. You tried to burn me, sir. I'm going to put a trip bomb down here. Maybe I can get somebody to run over it before the game's over. Oh, there's some guy, like, flying off the top over there. Oh, got a, got a mortar guy over here. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, he's going to get me. He got me. <laughs> that sucks. Well, this has been on PC, guys, which, as you know, is my favorite. But pretty soon, I'll be rank 100 because I'm 99 here. Then I'll be playing a lot more PS4. Thank you guys for uh, listening to my rambling. And don't forget to tune in for tonight's stream. Oh, and this hat I'm wearing, in case you wonder what 1S1K means, that means one shot one kill unless i'm using a pistol <laughs> um that is the logo that that's our uh that's our clan tag one shot one kill oh he got me i thought i could i thought i could get him oh there goes my phone so one shot one kill is our uh, clan tag for the platoon all the platoons are currently full but i'm always working on creating new ones we have four on ps4 four on xbox one and uh two on pc i believe maybe three on pc now i'm not 100 percent sure but I think they pretty much all filled up, so I'm working on that. I think I might be doing, uh, if you guys like the hat and you want your own if you're in the platoon, um, I think I think I might be doing some giveaways, and eventually I might put the hats put the hats for sale. Oh, crap. I am suck. I just missed that guy twice in a row because I'm trying to talk. 
Um, might put the hats for sale if you guys are interested in them. That would be cool. I would love to see people wearing the 1S1K hats. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys enjoyed my rambling while I did a live com, which I'm, <laughs> which I'm kind of shaky at. And uh, I'll see you guys in tonight's stream if you want to tune in on my YouTube channel, 5.30 p.m. Uh, nice victory here, 37 kills and 15 deaths while while trying to talk to you guys at the exact same time. I hope you're proud of me. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Can't wait to read your uh, comments and opinions.